Good morning students! Today's topic is all about explaining how the circulatory and respiratory systems work together to transport nutrients, gases, and other molecules to and from the different parts of the body. The respiratory and circulatory systems work together to transport nutrients, gases, and other molecules to and from the different parts of the body. The respiratory system is responsible for the gas exchange in the body. It delivers oxygen to the body and gets rid of the carbon dioxide. On the other hand, the circulatory system is responsible for the oxygen and nutrient transport to every cell of the body. Moreover, it is also responsible for removing the carbon dioxide and other waste from the cells. First, let us recall the breathing process. Unfiltered air enters the body through the nose, then it will be filtered in the nasal cavity. The filtered air will now enter the pharynx going to the larynx. The air is then filtered once more in the trachea. This filtered air enters through the lobes of the lungs through the left and the right bronchi, then to the bronchioles. After bronchioles are the tiny air sacs called alveoli where actual gas exchange happens. Gas exchange between the bloodstream and the alveoli happens when the right ventricle of your heart contracts. During this contraction, the blood goes to the two pulmonary arteries going to the lungs. From the alveoli, oxygen enters the bloodstream which will be carried to the cells of the body. On the other hand, carbon dioxide leaves the bloodstream and enters through the alveoli. The carbon dioxide will be blown out from the body during exhalation. Let us now discuss what happens to the oxygen-rich blood. Let us call this as the oxygenated blood. The oxygenated blood flows into the pulmonary vein going to the left atrium. As the left atrium contracts, the oxygenated blood goes to the left ventricle. As the left ventricle contracts, oxygenated blood goes through the aorta, carrying the blood away from the heart to the smaller arteries. The oxygenated blood is now delivered to all cells of the body. While delivering oxygen, the blood picks up the carbon dioxide produced by the cell. Let us call this blood as the oxygenated blood. The oxygenated blood returns to the right atrium through the veins. The oxygenated blood from the head and neck goes back to the heart through the superior vena cava, while blood from the abdomen and the lower parts of the body goes back through the inferior vena cava. When the oxygenated blood is delivered to the heart, the right ventricle contracts. Gas exchange between the alveoli and the bloodstream happens again and the cycle continues. In summary, here is a diagram explaining how the respiratory and circulatory systems work together. And that's all for today class. See you on our next topic.